In November 2012, work commenced on the largest and most ambitious runway maintenance project at Van Nuys Airport in over half a century, a $20.5 million plan to rehabilitate its historic 8,000-foot main runway, 1-6 right, in just nine months. A runway where state-of-the-art business jets destined for distant corners of the world arrive and depart 24 hours a day. At an airport where more general aviation aircraft take off and land than almost anywhere on Earth. The mission? Modernize the runway to meet current Federal Aviation Administration design standards, achieve a 20-year lifespan, and preserve Van Nuys Airport's world-class status. The challenge? Dramatically limit the number of days the runway will be closed or shortened during construction, keeping Van Nuys Airport tenants open for business. This project here represents the largest single project on the field in over 50 years here at Van Nuys Airport. And what makes that unique is that we've had to work closely with the tenants to ensure that there was a balance between their need to have the runway available for as much of the time during the project as possible with our need to ensure that we did that project correctly and safely. This runway, since its original construction, has only seen slight maintenance, but this is a true rebuild. We're, we're rebuilding this runway to last for 20 years, and it should last for 20 years given regular maintenance. The type of aircraft that use Van Nuys Airport are jet aircraft, propeller aircraft, and helicopters. And all the aircraft that are based here at Van Nuys Airport are privately owned by individuals or businesses. Through the ingenuity of engineers and months of collaboration with stakeholders, work was carefully designed and aggressively phased to minimize operational impacts to the fullest extent possible. It's not too difficult to actually design a replacement for a runway, but runways by their nature are the most important thing on any airfield. And so anytime you take the runway out of service to rebuild it, it has significant impacts to the community, all the pilots who operated on it, and the airport itself. A potential runway closure of up to 17 weeks was minimized to 10 days and 26 nights for rehabilitation work. Founded in 1928, Van Nuys Airport is a place where America's early flight pioneers proved that aviation could cross the ocean and bridge the world. I remember when I was the youngest pilot around here flying uh, sophisticated airplanes, and now I'm definitely the oldest. It's this transition from a small airplane airport to a corporate airplane airport. As a matter of fact, there's more corporate airplanes on Van Nuys than any other airport in the world. As the nation's leading business airport, it's a valued economic and community resource, serving private, government, and corporate aviation needs. Van Nuys Airport is home to nearly 700 aircraft, from single-engine Cessnas to Boeing business jets on 730 acres of land. Van Nuys is unique in the sense that it is uniquely dedicated to these types of of, uh, of, of, of aircraft, and we want to make sure that that all of the players who were involved in uh, not only getting the planes on and off the ground, but maintaining these planes have uh, a venue that is uh, second to none. Each year, the airport supports over 12,300 jobs and contributes more than $1 billion to the Southern California economy. It provides jobs, it provides work for people in the surrounding community, and it provides a lot of money to the surrounding areas who do business there. It's also distinguished as one of the world's busiest general aviation airports, averaging more than 340,000 annual operations. Van Nuys Airport is the world-class airport in terms of facilities and amenities that are offered to a variety of the flying public. We offer services to many types of companies, corporate flight departments, movie studios, businesses that need to get from point A to point B on demand. And that's what sets us apart because we can do that unlike any other airport here in the region. Van Nuys Airport's mark on aviation history is unrivaled. The spirit of creativity and craftsmanship that gave birth to the airport over 85 years ago remains strong today. Rehabilitation work was carefully phased to minimize the time runway 1-6 right would be closed or shortened. Operations on Van Nuys Airport's 4,000-foot parallel runway, used mainly by propeller aircraft, were not impacted. However, the lack of secondary runway to handle the majority of jet operations required a unique design, varying pavement sections, and creative phasing. The phasing on this project was very unique. We had to actually kind of break it into three distinct work areas. Um, what we're doing is actually shortening the runway 
um, which based on the current fleet and the planes that operate there, they can operate on a 5,000 foot runway. Um, but today it's an 8,000 foot runway. So we're going to shorten the runway and move it to the south end and do construction on the north. We'll then do the same thing, move the runway north, do construction on the south, and then there'll be one closure in the middle for 10 days where we'll address the middle portion of the runway in a very accelerated construction. The project included improvements and installation of a new blast fence at the run-up area, repairs to existing concrete runway ends and shoulder pavements, high-speed exit light modifications, and new pavement markings. We're standing on the north end of runway 16 right at Van Nuys, and today's the first day of runway reconstruction. The contractor is currently removing all the asphalt pavement between us and a blast fence, which is located about 3,000 feet down the runway. It'll take him a couple days to remove the asphalt, and then he'll continue to dig down about two more feet, and then he'll be building it back with our pavement section. Over the last few days, I've actually shortened the runway overnight. Um, first night, it was a matter of setting up some temporary electrical stuff that would give the pilots uh, visual cues. And then the next couple nights, we actually remarked the entire runway and then set up the blast fence to protect the construction site. So the runway went from 8,000 feet uh, two days ago to now 5,000 feet. A combination of asphalt overlay and partial reconstruction was phased over the runway's north, south, and center sections. During preliminary engineering, uh, we went out and cored along the length of the runway. And this is just the top portion of one of the cores from the middle of the runway. Uh, if you can imagine, this is actually four times thicker of asphalt in real life. And we were actually surprised by this. No one would have guessed that the middle of the runway was 17 inches thick of asphalt. And what we're um, guessing based on record drawings and all the information we have is that that original thickness of asphalt was actually the original runway from the 30s. And since then, the runway has been overlaid until it's gotten to the surface height where it is today. We're in phase four of the runway 16 right reconstruction. Um, over the past 75 days, we've been doing prep work that's gotten us to this point. Uh, we now have the runway closed for 10 consecutive days. We're in day two of this closure, and our contractor is currently finishing up excavation here on the south and has already started paving operations on the north side of the phase. Amassing 2,000 hours of construction in 267 calendar days, runway rehabilitation was completed on time and on budget using eight acres of infield grass, enough to cover six football fields, 57,600 linear feet of electrical cable, more than six times the length of the Golden Gate Bridge, and 60,000 tons of asphalt, an amount sufficient to pave over seven miles of a four-lane highway. Rehabilitation and improvement of Van Nuys Airport's primary runway, 16 right, allows airport users to experience an even higher level of world-class service and facilities than ever before. This more than $20 million investment in the airport's infrastructure ensures that aircraft, from single-engine planes to multi-engine business jets, move quickly, safely, and efficiently. It also promotes business growth and maintains Van Nuys Airport's role as a powerful economic engine. This is the premier GA airport in the Southern California area. And without it, many companies don't have alternates to use nearby. They have to look at places outside of the region to operate, which is really just not feasible for many companies. Whether you're a pilot or passenger, Van Nuys Airport is committed to offering the most distinctive flight experience possible. A legacy of excellence. A design for the future. A world-class airport. Van Nuys Airport.